This time I'm Mike Noble digging. It's Mike's birthday. So Bill and Chet meet Mike out at the colonial site Side A, but they hit a whole new section they never hit before with fantastic results. Today is kind of a special day for a couple reasons. Uh, I get to go metal detecting with a couple of the backcountry diggers. That's always fun, whether we find anything or not. And today is my birthday. That's right, I'm uh, 52 years old today. So, uh, yeah, I know, I know. But uh, we're heading out to a location. Uh, we've hit it several times before, and. Uh, it's always, it always has a lot of promise, and we pull some good stuff out of there a lot of the time, not always. But we're going out to the colonial site, Site A. Now apparently, uh, a couple of the guys have been out there to a different part of Site A uh, that we are starting to call Site C. Uh, we really never hit it before. Uh, it's always been overgrown with brush, and uh, well, this time of year, that's not so much of a problem, but apparently when you get back in it a ways, it opens right up to a nice woods. And the guys have found some nice stuff in there, so uh, we're going to see if we can check that out. So hopefully we find some good stuff. So here we go. Hey, Chet. What's up, man? Hey, so he just pulled up just, yeah. just before I got here. How yeah. you doing, buddy? Good, man. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> birthday hunt. Yes, I love those things. So, uh, he said there's a new section here we're calling Side C now. Side C. So, let's give that a hit and see what we can come up with. Hey. And I think Bill's going to show up at some point, too, today. So. so, we might have a nice little uh, uh, group going on. Yep, you got to find your Mercury Dome. Gotta find the Mercury Dime. I know of at least two of them found in here. Yep. So, so it's not a likely place, but uh, you never yeah, know. Yeah. It's been done. Yep. On Mike's last two birthday hunts, he found a Mercury Dime. Yeah. Including two years ago, which was his very first Mercury Dime. He's hoping to make that tradition last through this year, too. We'll see. Well, here we are. We're going to swing around in here for a little bit. This is all new. This is, I guess you kind of discovered this area. Yep. It's part of our permission. It is. For Site A, but uh, Chet kind of uh, named it Site C. Because all this time. From that, everything else. Yeah. It is separate. On the other side of the road and everything. So. so it's all new to us and we never hit it before. So let's, let's give it a shot. So quite literally, we just started. That is the road. We just stepped off the road. Chet's there, he's hunting. My very first hole is this. A little parasol slide. That is cool. I don't dig too many of these. I have dug them already, but that's cool. So uh, let's uh, keep going here. Yeah, it still didn't make it too far. The road's still there. Right there was that parasol slide. Chet and I both got a shotgun head stamp. I just pulled a little brass uh, leather rivet out of the ground. So signals are pretty close to each other here. I think that's a good sign. Now that bottle's nothing. That's an old Smirnoff bottle. That's uh, <laughs> pretty modern. Chet just hollered. I'm not sure there he is. Uh, he got something pretty good. Let's uh, wind our way around here and find out what he got. <laughs> Hear him laughing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of jungly, ain't it? 
I'm trying to get to you. Look at that. I believe that's a Spencer casing. It sure is. I could be wrong. It sure enough is. Does not appear to have been fired. But it looks like maybe they removed the powder and then out of habit, probably from Civil War era, crimped it so that the enemy couldn't use it. That's usually how they did it, my understanding. Yeah. Spencer casing. Cool. Man, that is really cool. We got Bill. The day is made. How you doing, Bill? How you doing? I'm doing good. Got to get out for the annual Mike Noble birthday, huh? Yes, yes, I'm glad that's becoming a thing. <laughs> Alright, I got a nice 17 to 18 signal here. It seems tight. I'm going to try a live dig. I haven't done one of those for a while. So, we'll see what this is. Nice root my way. All right, I guess that is, oh, I think I see it. What in the world is that? Oh, guys, look at that. I had just live dug a flat button. And it looks like it's got some kind of fancy on it. Sweet! Nice. Low cut button. Flat button. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Just a little cuff button. No shank on the back. I don't see any writing on it. I'll get cleaned up and see if I can make anything out on it. But I'm happy with that. I love these buttons. I really like these buttons. Just back here in the jungle area. Oof. Says he's got himself a beer tap. Or ale tap or whatever. Yeah, great camera work, but but uh, it is a jungle. You can't get through it. Let's see what you got, buddy. You yeah. sure? Is it seventeen hundreds? Yes, you do, don't you? Yeah. Yes, you do. Right there's the hammer part. Yeah. It? Yeah. It's just broke off. The valve part is missing. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that nice green. It's trying to be. Gorgeous, man. Well, thank I love that. Huh. 1700s beer tap all the way through. Have or you ever found ale one? tap. I've never found one. But that's your second one, right? Yeah, and that's yours for your birthday. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. You let me have that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Chet. I got one. That's amazing, man. I love that. I love that. Awesome, man. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> A bill stooped over here. He just, uh, Dug a piece of a square now, but he said he's found cool things. So, so beef plate up our harmonica. So the reeds are still there. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh no, that's cool. It was bent, so when I unbent it, it broke a little. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I just dropped it. Good thing we got a metal detector. Yes, that's true. Those are cool. Other than shotgun head stamps and big chunks of iron. Oh, I'm so far. That's a, uh, I don't know, that's delicate. That's probably from a garter or something. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What? There's stuff back here, isn't there? Beats a stick in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> it does beat, beat a stick in the eye. <laughs> oh, you just pull a bullet? Yeah, just an old, not, not even anything real old. Probably uh, 40s, 50s. Ah, well. Flat, but. It's fun to dig it. The check came over. He has a couple iron things that he found. Whoa, I about dropped it out of the boot. There you go, Mikey. Yeah, it's like a chisel. They hammered it to death at the top, but then it decided to split off at the bottom there. So, um, 
somebody's working hard there. And then this thing, which is cool. I think that is a rock splitter. It's got a hole through it. So that's that's really cool. It's just a little tiny thing. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah, one more that one's cool. One more thing. I, I don't know what it is, so maybe you can tell me. Whoa. That's lead. Yeah, that's lead. It was round at one time. It looks like they carved on it or something. Man, I don't know. It looked like it had a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that was like a spindle whirl or something. I don't know. Or we don't have any well, we do have a river. Yeah. Probably 200 yards from here, mm -hmm. 200 feet. One of the creeks right down there, too. Yeah. And it was closer to the creek than it was the, the river. So it could be a net weight, but I don't know. It's, it's in, they chopped it in half. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. That is weird, but I love it. It's lead. It's old. Let's get that white patina on it. Yeah, it does. That is cool. Thank you. Well, that is one of the coolest mystery items to come out of here today. I like it's it. a, a mystery. I was about to walk away and Chet says, Mikey, don't go anywhere. So I came back. Leave us a spoon? Yeah, I think so. Looks like an iron one. That's exactly what that is. Shovel for that. Yeah, part of it. Is that the neck of it? I think so. Part of it. That's cool. That is a weird looking spoon, though. It is, isn't it? It really is. It's got a weird tip and in the back. I don't know. Maybe it's not a spoon. I ain't no telling. There's no telling. I don't know if it's a spoon or not. I'd almost say it is, but it's just weird. Huh. Interesting find. Yeah. I broke it. <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> It'll be all right. Buffalo, South Carolina? Yeah. There is a Buffalo, South Carolina. I didn't know that. Just got myself some kind of a tag here. And it's from box 161. Oh, I, you know what? I bet it's a dog tag. Oh, is it? Yeah. You find uh, a date on it? C. Codwell, Buffalo, South Carolina. Box 161. That's all that's on it. You got really? Okay. I bet, it's, I bet it went to a collar for a dog. Could have been. I never saw one like that, but that's cool. Be nice if it had a date on it. Yeah, I know. I, know. I like it. Me too. Yeah, that's Burn. a buckle. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and he found that thing, I guess. I don't know what that would be. No idea. And you got this uh, little spoon handle. Your truck looks like a black mic. Thing one. Looks like it's got a little. Looks like it's got a little fancy up there at the top. That's cool. That is a spoon handle that Chet found. It's very interesting. I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a palmetto tree. Or weeping willow or what but it's got rays coming down off of it there there you see that very interesting and the other side really not too much you got the end that looks like a Volkswagen bug hood <laughs> that's about it but wow that's cool. Yeah, Chet just dug this. He's been in a harmonica reed mode today. 
So, and I just stood right there and he pulled that out. How you liking your new or O or X? Orcs. I'm loving it, man. Oh yeah. The iron separation is it's crazy. Newness hasn't wore off yet, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like a I don't know. It's like a brand new. Well, it is a brand new detector, but well, sure. I mean, it's like a brand new sight. It, it's weird. It does kind of look like one. It looks like. The strap one in here and a larger one went in here mm -hmm. that would have completed. Oh. I think that's really interesting. I think it's a farming implement of some kind. Or, Probably. But that is uh, an oddball. It is. Well, Chet, I have to go. Hi, right, buddy. I gotta take off a little bit earlier than these guys. If they find anything after I leave, uh, Chet said he's going to shoot me some pictures and That's I'll be right. sure to put them on the video. I'll give him a holler. But uh, I appreciate you coming out and hunting with me today. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good hunt. That's right? a nice day. I'm it already hot. Beautiful day. Yeah. It was a beautiful day. Day after Christmas. This is supposed to be like 65 today, something like that. Yeah. So nice. I wish I could stay longer. <laughs> But I don't know where Bill got to. He is, he's somewhere around here. Uh, we may or may not run into him before uh, before I hop in my car, but uh, if I do, I'll get him. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, man. Hey, birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll catch you on our group hunt. Yeah, man. Sounds good. Well, I did get to run into Bill. He's smoking him a stogie. Yeah, taking a break. Of the day, I think. Yeah, we well, found a few things. You did find some lead bullets, didn't you? Yeah, what was that? I had no idea. I watched it for the day. It was, looks like it affixed to something. And then he found that his lead. I don't think that was an impact, I think that was hammered into a game piece of something. And what's cool about that is one of us found, I don't know who it was, but one of us found something like that up here once before. So I'm thinking that's probably another game piece. I think that's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take off. I gotta leave. I guess you are soon too, huh? Hope you have a happy birthday. Yeah. Oh I have so far. I have so far. I'm glad you were able to come out and, and hunt with me. So thank you buddy. Yeah. Well guys, there you go. That's our hunt. Uh, very enjoyable hunt. Uh, out with a couple of really great guys. We found some things. We found some really good things. Chet gave me the barrel tap he found for my birthday. That was awesome. I got another fat button. I love those things. I mean, we just thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, catch you later. Bye.